Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this logic circuit and here the propagation delay of the each JK flip flop is equal to delta t. So as you can see, this clock signal is applied to this circuit. So here we have been asked to find which of the following waveform correctly represents the output waveform at the Q1. So in case if you are not able to see the waveform, then let me show you the enlarged version of the waveforms. So here, this is the logic circuit which is given to us in the question. So as you can see, here both the flip-flops are the positive edge triggered JK flip-flops and here, the output of the one flip-flop is connected to the clock input of the next flip-flop and here, both J and K inputs of the flip-flops are connected to the logic one. That means here, the flip-flops are used in the toggle mode. That means basically, this is the circuit of the 2-bit down counter. And here, we have been given that the propagation delta of the each flip-flop is equal to delta t. That means after receiving the rising gauge, each flip-flop will respond after the delay of the delta t. So now, let us see the output waveform of this 2-bit counter. So here, the time period of the clock signal is equal to capital T. And here, since both the flip-flops are the positive edge triggered flip-flops, so they will respond to the rising gauge of the clock signal. That means here, the first flip-flop or this Q0 output will change at the every rising gauge of the clock pulse. But here, this Q0 will respond to the rising gauge after the propagation delay of the flip-flop. That means it will respond after this duration delta T. That means this duration is equal to delta T. And here, the time period of this Q0 is equal to 2T. Because here, this Q0 waveform is repeating after the two cycles of the clock signal. So as you can see, this Q0 output is toggling at the every rising edge of the clock pulse. But it is changing after the delay of the delta T. So now, this Q0 waveform will act as a clock pulse for the second flip-flop. And the second flip-flop will respond to this clock at the every rising gauge. But as you can see, it will respond after the time delta t. That means this duration is equal to delta t. Or from the clock edge, if we measure this time, then it is equal to 2 delta t. And here, this q1 waveform is repeating after the duration of the 4t. That means it is repeating after the 4 cycles of the clock pulse. So this is the output waveform of the Q1. So as you can see, the time period of this Q1 waveform is equal to 4t. And with respect to some reference point, it is delayed by the time 2 delta t. That means from the given 4 options, this C is our correct waveform. So we can say that for the given question, this C is the correct answer.